Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Smida. Today I've got some cute nails for you. It's kind of what I do, or what I try to do. Um, so let us go. Honestly, I'm not quite sure on the style, whether it's like kawaii or anything in particular. But I basically wanted to make my own charms using some 3D gel. I got one from a cart in this video and one that I got from Timu. So that's what I'll be doing. So I'm also going to be trying a little bit of stamping, which <sighs> I've been using stamping more as a guide because as you probably just saw, I have a hard time getting like a nice and clean stamp for some reason. You would think that it wouldn't be that hard considering it's literally just stamping, but I don't know what I'm doing wrong. But it is really helpful for doing designs such as this one that I'm doing here, which is a checker print. So just working, working my way around things, you know. So since filming this video, I've actually gotten my hands on a few other products that do the exact same thing but work. Well, honestly, they work just as well. I'm talking about the Yogo Silky Beam. I did get that. It's beautiful. It's like an iridescent kind of pinky, gooey situation. It's really pretty and it's great. But this McCart and Timu stuff, it works just as well as I said. So that's what I'll be using here. I've been having a lot of fun making my own charms and kind of just trying to develop more of a style. A lot of the time I do start off replicating other people's work and technique but i do try my best to put like my own little spin on it just because i don't know like i want it i want it to be more of a mida touch that was me touching so yeah so i'm making an alien for my thumb and i just love this thumbnail so much i think this checkered background was perfect and the colors that i chose they just like pop out so beautifully and it's it's just it's a good time if i say so myself the majority of the gels that i'm using here are from bessie i do have the hello kitsch collection as well as the y2k cosmic collection the y2k cosmic collection has already been swatched i made a short hopefully you've seen it but the Hello Kit collection was sent to me with a duplicate, so it's technically incomplete. So that's why I figured, why would I swatch it, you know, when if it's incomplete? Anywho, so I made little flowers for the index finger, which definitely remind me a lot of the design, one of the designs that I did for the Betsy Johnson inspired nails. But I actually did this video first, so maybe it was just in my head. It's just so cute. It's really cute. I really wish I could figure out the lighting situation sooner rather than later so I can show you more details, uh, but, it, but it did look cute, okay? It looked cute. I did keep it pretty simple. I almost went into the design like gradually in terms of difficulty. The alien head and the squiggle on the thumb, they were super easy basically just an upside down teardrop and then a squiggle but the flowers i had to ensure that the petal proportions were all going to be more or less the same um so i roll out a little noodle you know and then with my spatula i just try my best to cut it in roughly the same size and that is how i make sure that they're at least somewhat proportionate you know then i made a heart which that one is also super easy to make but then i decided i wanted to do a bunny i made it it came out cute but it's not perfect i am working with my non-dominant hand which sometimes she like works with me other times she's like off you know and i just try my best i did do like a nicer version of the bunny just so that you could see but yeah it almost looks like that little mousy guy topo gigio topo gigio I, I remember him from when i was little he's so cute so guys i found out that 
3D gels and clays that come in different colors already are super handy. And so I like customizing my charms as much as possible, but honestly, it's kind of hard to paint on an even coat of like a base color. I'll continue to practice doing things this way because that it makes me feel more comfortable with my brush, especially on, again, my non-dominant hand. But yeah, 3D gels and clays that are already the color that I need them to be are much easier. I've been looking at really cool products that hit the market just recently and it's so exciting. So I am looking at some products from another brand on Instagram that I saw. Actually, I discovered them through one of my other favorite nail girlies, The Devil Wears Press-Ons. She's awesome. I love watching her content and her hauls. But the brand I'm talking about, it's Chris 3D Shop on Instagram. And y'all, I think I might be picking up a few things. They have such cute gels and clays that are already delicious looking, already really beautiful in shades and colors and what have you. So I'm thinking I might have to place an order soon. Anyway, um, how's everybody? I have been seeing a little bit of an increase. Oh, my hair just had a bit of an increase in my subscribers. It makes me so happy. It makes my heart happy. I love talking to you guys. I love it when you leave me comments and it's super sweet. And thank you so much for taking the time to leave your thoughts and your ideas and your suggestions. It's really, really appreciated. It just like brings so much joy to my heart you know cannot explain to you how exciting it is to get to talk to other folks and share a common love are any of you guys doing anything fun i am going camping soon it's so exciting to think that i'll be touching grass soon oh geez louise i feel like i need it i don't know about you guys but whew, the last few months for me have been a doozy i'm pretty open about my mental health and such and i was on medication for it i started to wean off of it so now i've completely am just like raw dogging life right now and it's just been a doozy it's all good like i'm i'm okay but like i need to go touch some grass y'all i need to meditate out in the wilderness and feel little i think i'm gonna be doing a mini vlog about it if you guys are open to the content i hope because i would like to post vlogs just to keep things spicy between us you know what i'm saying it's fun to shoot and it's so much fun to edit as well i'll try my hardest to make it as cinematic and entertaining as possible for you but yeah that is it for the video though this one was a short and sweet kind of thing aren't these cute aren't these so cute i love them so much i only did one hand and i wish i did both but alas i must make more cute content so i'm trying the whole like doing one hand for one design the other hand for a different type of design you know just to like balance things out and to not fry my hands completely off <laughs> Um, but anyways, I hope you enjoy. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe. I would love to have you. Don't forget to hit that like button. It helps me out so, so very much. I hope you'll come back and be friends with me. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.